a contrite spirit. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. Psalm 34, 18. In the NIV, the uh, scripture reads, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And you know, there are so many people out there today, maybe you're one of them, that have a depressed, downcast spirit. You feel like everything has fallen, the bottom has fallen out of your life. Maybe somebody left you. Maybe you have a rebellious teenager. Or something bad has happened. Or there's been some bad news. And you've been worn down over time over the days, over the weeks, over the years. And I'm here to encourage you and tell you that the Lord is close to a brokenhearted, downcast spirit. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. And I know that God speaks to us. The Holy Spirit inside of us, God, today is talking to you. He's talking to me. And so I don't know what your condition is. I don't know what your situation is, but I know that the Lord is faithful. I know that the Lord is good. And so it is my prayer today that as you review this scripture, this Psalm 34, 18, that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The Lord knows the people that he created. The Lord knows what we're going through. The Lord knows in advance what we'll go through. So he's near. He's always near. He never forsakes us. Never. So he's near. And not only is he near, he saves. So we have a God that's close and a God who saves. So there's two promises in the scripture. Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He's close and saves those who are crushed in spirit. So I see that and I know that, that the Lord loves us and he loves a contrite spirit. He loves a humble spirit. He loves, although he feels, because we're made in his image, right? He feels our pain. He really is feeling what we go through. So, not only is he feeling, and he's not some God that is so austere and just removed. No, this is a God, our God, Jesus Christ, who loves us. And he's here today for you and me, my friend, to deal with this contrite or this broken, crushed, contrite, broken, crushed spirit. And he's not only here to be near, but he's here to save. So I want to encourage you and I want to pray for you right now that you understand this, that you get this and that you fall on him. You fall on the Lord Jesus Christ and just believe him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you. I know that there are people right now listening, looking at this video and it is my prayer not only as a Christian, a Christian counselor, a man of God, that I pray right now for anyone who is caught, crushed, broken, busted, and who need this word, this Psalm 34, 18. They need to know that you are near, that you are close to those who are broken, and that you save those who are crushed, you are not a God that would abandon your people. You are not a God that doesn't listen and doesn't act. So I pray for anyone, everyone who's watching this right now, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the risen God, for you to heal the brokenhearted, for you to save those who are crushed in spirit. And so I pray, I pray and believe that you are a God who listens a God who is faithful. And I pray all of this in by the love and the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Go in peace, my friend, and God bless you.